Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us with another edition of Condo Insider. Thank you. Um, with these are weekly shows that we put on with um, from Hawaii Council of Community Associations. So today I have with me a special guest um, that I discovered, um, and his name is Mo Sokyu. We're in Cyber Hawaii. Cyber Hawaii um, in Pacific Business News, they are rated number three of our ISP service, service um, in services in the state of Hawaii. So he's gonna to explain to us the services that he can offer, especially for the condos that do the bulk billing with Hawaiian Towel or Spectrum. So now we have a third person in the market that might be price competitive or even service competitive than what the, we're, we're traditionally always used to for all these years. So Mo, tell us a little bit about Zyber Hawaii. Well, first, um, can I uh, make a correction on the pronunciation of my last Sorry. name? <laughs> Quite all right. It's um, it's like okay, but put an S in front of it. Okay. okay. Yes. I like sake. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. <laughs> so, tell you a little bit about uh, Zyber Hawaii. Um, well, um, our roots go back a long way. Uh, the company was formed in 2002 under a different name called HDT. Uh, HDT stood for Hawaii Dialogics Telecom. Uh, it started out as a voice company and it evolved into a internet service provider around the 2005-2006 arena is when we built our network. Um, we're uh, what they call a CLEC. A CLEC stands for a Competitive Local Exchange Carrier. And that gives us a lot of advantages. Um, we have what they call an interconnect agreement where we have the ability to resell internet from other providers as well. Um, you know, the big names here in the island, the big carriers. So we can use um, their internet to resell to customers. And we can also use our own network. And to tell you a little bit about our own network, we're what they call a uh, fixed wireless provider. Uh, where we use radio frequency to transport the internet throughout Honolulu. And our our own network uh, consists of, from where we are located, uh, at the IPA building, the Airport Industrial Park Association building at 33375 Kolpaka Street here at the airport, and reaches all the way to Waikiki. So Metro Honolulu is our own network. Um, and we consider ourselves carrier agnostic. So we like to use our own um, network to provide internet to commercial accounts, to commercial customers and AOAOs. And um, if we can't hit it with our own network, if it's outer island or if it's uh, windward side or west side or far east side, Waikai, um, we use the other carriers internet service and we resell it. So um, that provides us that carrier agnostic and also is a useful tool um, with a product um, that we provide as a part of our service that makes this unique that we've been providing for a while um, called SD-WAN. Um, so to, to tell you a little bit about why we did the name transformation to Zyber Hawaii, which we just rebranded this year in 2023. Um, we launched it in the Building Expo show in March of 2023, was because in 2015, um, we spun off a sister company called Zyber, X-I-B-E-R, just Zyber, Indianapolis, located in um, uh, Indianapolis. And they did, uh, they did the same thing that we did, um, fixed wireless internet. It's actually, um, as an internet service provider, as an ISP, we're technically known as a WISP, a W-I-S-P, which stands for Wireless Internet Service Provider. So um, Zyber Indy, uh, focusing on commercial internet and um, uh, condominiums and apartment buildings in, in, in the mainland, they call them MDUs, multi-dwelling units. They were very, very successful in targeting the MDU community. And at MDUs, those apartment buildings, they're not owned um, by condominiums, by the, by the uh, owners of the condominiums and the associations. They're owned by corporations and businesses or individuals. So it's a, it's a lot easier to, to sell to them and for them to sign off because when they do the math, when they do the numbers, it really makes sense 
to do these uh, bulk internet proposals. So um, since 2015, the success of Zyber Indy has been so great. Uh, they have seemed to have come up with a recipe to supply the bulk internet and TV uh, product to that um, vertical. And um, we decided um, to ride on their success, uh, their resources, they have the systems engineers, the network engineers that are based there and in other parts of the world, for that matter. Uh, we use, we use um, that talent from um, different parts of the world um, to have this great company, um, Zyber Indianapolis. And we thought, well, it, why don't we take the success from Zyber Indy and bring it back home to Hawaii. We started here in 2002, and let's really uh, not only focus on the commercial business, let's really go after the um, AOAO business here in the islands. So that's that's the reason for the new name as uh, Zyber Hawaii. We have uh, several pro press releases coming out in the next couple of weeks. We have radio spots that you'll be hearing on the radio talking about Zyber Hawaii. So tell us from um, what I've um, learned from you, it's not just internet service. You can also do telephone, which a lot of telephone are now through the internet, right? So tell us a little bit how about how that can work, because there's a lot of condos that are still on either Hawaiian or some individuals might be on the spectrum package deals, um, how you can potentially um, save um, the condo building and maybe the individual residents some additional money. Yeah. Um, well, again, we started as as a voice company, and um, uh, the type of telephone service that we provide is is a VoIP service, um, voice over internet protocol um, phone service, which is very common in the industry. Um, am I allowed to talk about products and customers that we supply to? Or okay, um, so we use a product called um, MetaSwitch. It's an um, excellent product that got bought out by Microsoft, and it I can't speak well enough about it. It is, it is the premier uh, VoIP product on the marketplace, owned by Microsoft, called MetaSwitch. Uh, some of our large voice customers are um, HDS, Hawaii Dental Services, with, I don't know, hundreds of phones in their call center, and also Hyema, located in Diamond Head Crater. We have north of 120 uh, VoIP phones in there for uh, the AOAO application. Yes, it can be part of a, of a bundle if, if the uh, tenants choose to have that. We're finding more and more, though, that everyone is so uh, relied on the uh, mobile phones, cell phones, that um, not, not as many are interested in, in um, having a VoIP, but it is available. That's correct. Um. But usually you have the the management, the admin people will still need a telephone. Or oh, absolutely. Pretty much. absolutely. So condos, when you start looking at your budgets and starts, when your contracts come up for renewal, whether it be Spectrum or with Hawaiian Tel, you guys really should need to consider Zyber because they can offer some very competitive pricing. Um, and why don't you tell them about, let's talk about the um, the little doodad that you have um, for in the event of a power, how you guys can really um, keep people from being bored, maybe. Oh, if the if the if there's an outage in the building, yeah, yeah. Um, well, uh, obviously, if if the building has the the resources in terms of um, funding to um, implement um, a sort of system in into their uh lobby area or what have you that can um provide uh the backup uh electricity that, that's needed to power internet obviously you, you will need power to run the devices um the internet will be live but to get the, the internet to work you'll need the power and you can set up uh, different things you know you can set up a monitor that could you could have information on there or um uh watch streaming um information as well you can have whatever you want um, located in in like a uh, a common area like a a rec room or a, a the lobby area if you will. right 
because that would be a very informational type of point of thing, you know, because then there would be one place everybody can go to get the current information, um, you know, because that's always the thing that certain things are spotty. Sometimes cell service will get spotty in the case of um, an outage of some sort, um, or even even spectrum can go down. In the you're, you're talking about um, the when there's an outage for power or internet? Uh, an outage for power, and there was an emergency, especially during an emergency. You right. know, like a hurricane or something of that nature where the power goes out of the building. I mean, we've had, an out, I mean, several years ago, we had an island-wide power, uh, power outage, but it wasn't, if I remember right, it wasn't storm-related. It just went out all over the island. It was gone for most of the day, you know? Um, so it was kind of getting boring. <laughs> After a few hours, it gets really boring, you know, because you have nothing else to do but just drink and eat, you know? <laughs> so, it, you know, it's... Calling Mo, he can actually see if you can, you know, capitalize on that kind of a thing to keep your um, residents kind of like a little bit more amused, not so bored. You know, they can set it up in a community room where everybody can at least convene and maybe get updates on the information and turn it into a social hour. Um, I lived in a neighborhood. We kind of like turned it into a, a social hour. Um, you know, we just gathered and talked story and, you know, took net one left and took naps, came back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you talk about um, those cool new devices that all are um, interfaced with the internet, they call that uh, IoT, the Internet of Things, which is <laughs> really are more and more as as time progresses that um, the the buildings need um, a very uh, robust infrastructure. Um, they call that a, a digital infrastructure to to have all these devices work properly. And again, it's, you know, it comes with a price tag. If, if your building has the wherewithal, the, the funding, the resources to, um, to install these, these neat devices, then they're great to have. That's correct. So talk to me about, um, tell me how you, you have an appointment at a building um, and you, you know, you, what do you need to do to see if, how, what do you need to check to see and put your proposal together for them? To give them a that's, a, that's a great question, Raylan. Um, it all starts with a, a site survey. So uh, we go in and uh, make an appointment and and really go through the building because we say that every building is is different. It's a it's a snowflake. Um, so as you know, snowflakes no two snowflakes are exactly alike. So we go in and do this uh, quite extensive site survey and. Um, Again, as a um, our primary focus is to if the the properties in the Metro Honolulu area, our primary focus is to to get that uh, fixed wireless to the um, building rooftop. So we we go to the building rooftop, and if if you look on my Facebook page, I'm on a lot of building rooftops, taking pictures and showing them everybody where I am, and uh, we see if we can we can get it from one of our um, major hubs, um, get the line of sight. Because in order to get the internet um, to the building, we have to see our radio from wherever that distribution point is. We need that LOS, that line of sight. The uh, the radio signal that is transported to the um, DMARC, the, the property, is um, about the size of a Frisbee. And um, it can deliver as much as... Um, I don't know if you're familiar, but internet is measured in uh, megabits per second, Mbps or or megs. Um, so these these radios, on a minimum, will will de will deliver 500 meg to a um, thousand meg or one gigabit, one GB. Um, or if it's a major huge property, you know five five GB or 10 GB. But usually one one gig will get it um, to the um, to be able to supply the entire. A property with internet. So once we do that site survey, um, we then get back to the office, our field team, and then they uh, put together a bomb, a uh, bill of materials to figure out what, what the cost would be to um, provide internet to the building. Uh, we then price it out uh, based on the number of tenants and we show the, the, um, the board of directors for the property what the the cost would be per tenant. And then, you know, obviously we multiply that by if there's a hundred units, say it's uh, whatever, uh, $40 per tenant. 
multiply that by 100, it's $4,000 per month to supply internet um, to the entire building. We also have um, streaming TV products that we can bundle with that. And voice, we use our own Zyber Hawaii TV streaming product. And we also use Threat TV as a TV package. Or, you know, customer doesn't want the TV, we can just provide internet only and the customer can go seek out their own um, TV themselves. So you can keep compete just as just as much as Spectrum and Hawaiian Tel with their bulk billing, and like Spectrum has, um, I know for me, I mean they have um, basic TV and we have Wi-Fi, um, which is included in our maintenance fees in that bulk billing package. Um, but you also have add-ons um, depending on what the board wants in your other package packages that could be added on um, for TV service. Yeah, we offer we offer a basic package, which is entry level is a, a 500M symmetrical service um, and also a basic TV package. And then the the um, the upgrades are if they want higher speeds, we can offer 750M symmetrical to one gig M and that's just per tenant. And also the TV package has a premium package, which offers uh, some movie channels as well. So you can compete with the other two. Yeah, we, we, um, our goal is everybody to recognize this as a third option uh, for bulk internet uh, in the AOAO space. Uh, the other providers offer a signing bonus or door fee to mm -hmm. become um, the provider. We do the same thing. We offer the same um, bonus in, 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 mo in a monetary thing and the contracts are standard are five years, but we're noticing on the mainland that um, some of them are going up as, as far as 10 years or 50 years. Yeah, we signed uh, a property here in Hawaii for 15 years. Wow, and that locks in that price? Correct. Correct. Wow, yeah. wow, think about that on your, on your budgets, people. 15 years, locking it in. <laughs> yeah. Because as we know, everything's only goes just going up. So locking up price in for fifteen years, that's that's awesome. That level pricing, yes, yeah, wow. And so, because so you know, I I know you talked about Hyema, um, and I think Holly, you do some hotels too, right? Holly that's correct. Yeah, um, Holly Kalani is is uh, one of our um, uh, premier hotel properties. Also, uh, Waikiki Resort Hotel owned by um, Korean Airlines on Coab. And speaking of which, um, did, we, did we want to talk about the SD-WAN product that we have? Do we have time? Well, I wanted to mention too that you have a product, or with, not with well, not a product, with your Wi-Fi capabilities, there's other things that can be done. And that's going to come up on a future show about okay. the sensors. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so there's yeah. going to be a part two to this, but... Um, but that's going to take a little Where's bit. Where's your sensors? Yeah, um, but yeah, I didn't want to mention it because okay. uh, I need to get, um, you know, a little bit of, of okay from that property, you know, to talk about that. Yes. But that's going to be on a future show where you have the capability of your product to bring in other things that the condo can use to help keep their property safe. Also, the maintenance of a, of a building, you know, um, to improve on that. Um, ability for the condos, for the board of directors. And that refers back to the IoT, the Internet of Things. Okay. So an SD-WAN is? SD-WAN um, is what we uh, present in all of our proposals. There's two major, major uh, technology products that is available to AOAOs here in Hawaii that we've been doing with Zyber in Indianapolis for the last five years. These products have been around for about five years. First one is SD WAN, and I know we're 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 limited on time here, so I'll I'll be real brief. Um, basically, you have our service that fixed wireless, correct, coming in through airwaves, and because of our interconnect agreement, we have um, a, 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 one of the major providers providing a fiber line for internet, their service coming in. It, the billing comes to us, so it's not like they're getting a bill from from another carrier. Uh, so you have two internet services going into a building. And obviously, what is the biggest complaint about internet 
Okay. In any situation. That it goes. No. <laughs> All right. So the SD WAN is a uh, device that um, measures in milliseconds who has the fastest speed and the lowest latency, and it picks that pathway. So you don't even know what service you're on. Are you on the Zyber Hawaii service or you are, are you on the major carrier service? Either way, you're on some sort of service that's providing internet to the users. Now, if there's an outage, the SD-WAN has a, a, a feature to it called seamless failover. So it fails over to the other service that's up. So if we go down, the other carrier will be up. If the carrier goes down, we'll be up. It'll it'll go to to the one that's up. So you virtually will never have an outage because our service is coming through the air. The other one's coming through the ground. If, if a truck hits a pole or if construction cuts into a line and uh, breaks off the service, you're okay. Ours is in the air. You never know, but the uh, the the radios are rated up to 130 mile per hour winds. So your hair occur came through, but whatever reason, you know, we're, we're, it's just, it's technology. Technology can have its glitches. So if we go down, it'll, it'll fail each other. And, and both of our clients, um, Holly Kalani and HDS have both experienced outages, but did they know that they had an outage? No, they did not because of the SD-WAN and the seamless failover. Which so is that, another component to being, um, uh, a backup to emergency, you know, because if you had it, you know, you'll still be able to get updates, you know, because typically there are certain TV stations that are always on doing some of these natural disasters and broadcasting, you know, what's going on. So um, having that as, as a service would be um, beneficial to the condo building oh, occupants. It's, it's huge. It's um, It's redundancy. It's like having a backup generator for your building. You you won't and with the backup generator, you won't lose power. With an SD WAN, you won't lose your internet connection. And everyone is so dependent upon internet. It's like if they don't have internet, they they pretty much freak out because um, yeah. And, and I thought it just hit my head. Um, so if it's a Wi-Fi generated, and some people have fobs that are Wi-Fi generated to get into the building. And I yeah. think that was some of the problems when there's um, when there's an outage, some people can't get into the building because of oh, the right. right. You know, so wow. that's another solution that can be a, a door opener. There you go. A lot of condos. Okay, and also too, uh, if I can, Raylan, if I could talk about the other um, technology product that we use widely. And by the way, that SD WAN. Whenever we give a proposal, we always give it with the SD-WAN with the two circuits. So you have the 100% uptime and seamless failover. And we do it with just one circuit with just our fixed wireless or, you know, a carrier circuit, um, just to, so that they can see the price difference. Do they want it or they want it? Do they don't want it? It's, it's totally up to, for the board to vote, vote on it. But the second um, technology product that we are very, very, um, uh, uh, fond of that works really great. It's been around for five years. Um, on the mainland, as I said, um, Zyber Indy, we, we have about 75 properties that we service, of which we did 12 properties um, with this um, conversion. And, and basically, uh, the older buildings have a coaxial cable as their infrastructure, uh, where the newer buildings will have fiber. Well, fiber is better because it delivers symmetrical internet. Symmetrical internet is where your upload speed matches your download speed. So when they quote speeds, when you hear that it's 500 by 500, that means it's symmetrical, the speeds. Whereas if it's a cable coax infrastructure in these older buildings, uh, they'll quote 500 by 20 or 500 by 30. So the download speed is the higher one, it's 500, but the upload, it'll be a lot a lower number. And and you need those upload speeds for live streaming, for uh, social media, uploading on social media, for uh, uploading large files. Um, if you're uploading to the cloud or sending files to your workplace or for school. So how do you do that in an older building? Well, you can pull fiber through the older building, but that's very, very expensive. There's a t an off-the-shelf technology that we've been doing 
um, for the last five years. We just upgraded um, this year in January Hawaiian Monarch on New Street um, with this technology. And um, I won't say what it's called because, you know, we don't want our competitors to know about it. But basically, it's, a, it's, a, it's an adapter that you, you, you bolt on to the, to, into the um, telco closet where the cables are, where the coaxial cable is. And it converts the coaxial cable to function just like fiber so that you do get those symmetrical speeds. So with the existing cable infrastructure, you're getting the 500 by 500, the 750 by 750, the one gig by one gig. Without the heavy costs associated with that, that you would normally have to pay to retrofit an entire building with fiber, which is very, very costly. So yep. it's at a fraction of the cost to have this really great technology. Um, we'll call it a uh, Zyber technology because, you know, so and those are great. Those are that's a great thing to have for because you know a lot of people are still working remotely from home. Either yeah. they go to the office for a few day, uh, for a couple hours and then they work remotely, or they only go to the office a couple of days a week. But the rest, their work is still working from home. You know it's that, and 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 just we look down the road. You know, with all this IoT, the Internet of Things, all these devices that are being used. Uh, you know, AI, robotics, uh, smart home appliances. If you do not have that robust, stable uh, uh, digital infrastructure in your building to supply this symmetrical internet, the, 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 that stuff is not going to work. You know, the buildings have to be upgraded to accommodate symmetrical internet. So do you want to pull fiber and spend, you know, mounds of money, or do you want to do it with this new technology that's an adapter that we install um, quite often to these older buildings that have the coaxial cable infrastructure. Great. It's like, it's like magic. I like to tell people it's a, <laughs> it's a bolt on adapter and poof, it's like magic. You want uh, It's anything that's going to make us, you know, more productive, entertained so that we're not sitting there just staring at the walls, you know, um, and being able to have that flexibility of, you know, working from home, you know, yeah, like a lot or you know, no. their school doing their schoolwork from home. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You need you need the high speeds. You need to be up all the time, and that's our goal at Zyber Hawaii to bring that to um, not only the commercial businesses but to the AOAO community. Okay. So thank you, Mo, for being on our show today, and I encourage all the board members to check them out. Uh, most of people's budgets might be done for the year, but it doesn't mean. But they should really. Um, Think twice before they start re-sign up contracts, you know, and check you got check you out to see where your pricing is going to be um, for the building. So um, double check, especially when you're um, up for renewal. It's an opportune time to check it out and call Mo or visit Cyber Hawaii with an X CyberHawaii.com. So thank you, Mo. I appreciate thank you, you taking thank the time. Thank you, time. So this was um, wonderful. I hope I get asked back. <laughs> yes we have to do the other product <laughs> okay thank you have a good week aloha